So, beta carotene versus vitamin A. There are two main types of vitamin A, retinoids, for example, retinol, and carotenoids, for example, beta carotene. Retinol is only found in animal foods, and it's fat-soluble, which means the body stores it, so it is possible to have too much of it. Beta carotene, on the other hand, is found in vegetables, and your body needs to convert it into retinol to use it as vitamin A. But some people struggle to convert it into vitamin A, for example, infants, diabetics, people with compromised bile production, and people on low-fat diets. The types of people most likely to be deficient in vitamin A are vegans and alcoholics. And alcoholics should be monitored by a doctor because there is the possibility of liver damage there if you have too much vitamin A. The minimum amount of vitamin A you need is, if you're an adult male, it's 900 micrograms of retinol or 10,800 micrograms of beta carotene. For an adult female, it's 700 micrograms of retinol or 8,400 micrograms of beta carotene. And the main symptoms of vitamin A deficiency include a severe dryness of the eye that, if untreated, can lead to blindness, night blindness, irregular patches on the whites of the eyes, and dry skin or hair. The maximum you should take of vitamin A is, for adults, it's 3,000 micrograms of retinol. However, there's no upper limit set for beta carotene because it's not fat soluble, so your body just tends to get rid of it. And all that tends to usually happen if you have a lot of it is your skin goes a bit orange. However, you shouldn't supplement beta carotene if you smoke, you have a history of asbestos exposure, or if you've had an angioplasty. The symptoms of vitamin A toxicity include vision changes such as blurry sight, bone pain, nausea and vomiting, sensitivity to bright light like sunlight, and strangely, dry skin. So dry skin is a symptom of toxicity or deficiency, which is a bit confusing. So if your skin's dry, you could be getting too much or too little. So you probably want to compare that with the other possible symptoms and look at your diet. So the food sources of vitamin A are, for retinol, it's pasture-raised beef or duck liver, eggs from organic pastured chickens, raw organic butter and cheese from grass-fed cows, whole raw milk and heavy cream from organic grass-fed cows, shrimp, and fatty fish like wild-caught salmon, and to a lesser degree, sardines. For beta carotene, it's carrots, sweet potatoes, kale, spinach, butternut squash, and mustard greens and collard greens. The websites I got my information from for this video are Mercola, WebMD, National Institutes of Health, Medical News Today, and Harvard School of Public Health, and I've put the links in the description in case you'd like to read more on this topic. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, why not click the like button, and maybe the subscribe button too. Until next time, I wish you the very best of health.